Okay, here we go. Hi guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel! I am horrendous at makeup, but today I really tried, so what do you think? I don't think I did too terribly. Um, I'm just really not good at it. I can literally watch all of the makeup artists and stuff on the YouTube and get all the products and I just still can't manage it. I just can't. But this is how I'm looking right now, okay? This is how I'm going today on Sunday. I've already spilt something here, have I? So <clears throat> this dress, it was literally like seven pounds from Bershka. I never go in there, but cutie, it fits so nicely. Love, 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 love. Anyway. Oh my oh, god, you that? don't say that. <laughs> Dad is like, uh, oh my gosh, I actually did quite well. No, 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 that, that's what I mean, you've done really well. You see that powder and stuff you've done, you, done, you do? I did. It's baking, isn't it? So I did, I did. You left it on for too long. Oh. You left I did, I really tried and did. I did no, a good did job. Really good. But before you came out, I was like, well, I don't think you meant to leave the baking <laughs> stuff on. Because it was just like, it. it's like you meant to <sighs> smush it in, right? Oh my god, I do not know what I'm doing. But anyway, good, we right? move. It looked it's quite good. So anyway, we haven't put up a YouTube video. Come and sit down. Come on. He doesn't want to get in because... He just made the bed so nicely and I've just ruined it. Yeah, look, look, I don't even want to like lie down, look at this. He's so proud. So proud. I actually made the bed, so you've okay, come I'm in and edited here. it then. So I just, I'm going to sit here like this, we're going to do a video like this. Also, look at my nail that I've just noticed. It's completely crooked. Like she did a really bad job. This is how I'm sitting. Come and sit near. No, this is how I'm sitting. How are we going <laughs> to... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So yeah, we haven't put up a YouTube video in ages and we're not going anywhere or doing anything exciting. It's set Sunday morning here and we're having crumpets. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Should I say Sunday? Mm. Hmm? Mm. I just like mine with butter. Dairy free butter. But look at his. Oh, mine's with lots of Nutella. Smothered in Nutella. That's disgusting. You know what the first thing I like to do when I wake up? What? I like to give you coffee. Mmm. <laughs> because you, it's, like you, it's, like, um, it's like a drug you're taking and it makes you like... You start talking to me and your conversations just get faster and louder as the day goes on because of the coffee just working in your system. I've it's like, good morning. I'm like... I've literally just started this um, coffee drinking thing. I never drank coffee, but... I've just started the last couple of weeks at like, having a coffee in the morning. It really boosts you up. And I'm just immune to it coffee. It literally gives me an adrenaline rush. Like right now, I'm flying high off one coffee. Yeah, you are actually, Jesus. You are. You was in the um you was in the toilet for ages. What? Because you come out and like makeup was all over. You need to you know, blend it in. <laughs> I come out and I'm like, how do I look? And he's like, it's like you, just... um, you should probably look at that in natural light. But I see what you're trying to go for. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm being honest, you know. I'd rather be honest than you. You got and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, why didn't you tell me this? And like now it's so it's my fault. But when I tell you something, you're like, that's what you like. Honestly, um. I don't even know what we're going to do today. I put on this dress because it's been such nice weather here and it's actually raining. So it's going to have to be leggings and a jumper. Again. I never can find any jeans that fit me properly so I have to wear leggings. Actually, you know what? Crumpets are actually really nice. You've just been chatting shit about crumpets. Now you like them. That's only because they're covered in chocolate spread. Imagine yesterday <clears throat> I went to Asda 
and I bought a whole packet of Jabby Dodgers, which are like biscuits, basically, if you're not from the UK. And, I ate them all. And the entire packet is gone. Like, it's gone. And I don't even see when he eats them. He just shovels them away, I think. Like, in the middle of the night, you get up and have I'm, a biscuit. I'm the type of person where if there's food in the house and it's in my sight and I don't have to, like, you know, open drawers, look for it, I will eat all of it because that's just how I am. If it's in my plain sight, I walk past it like, oh, look, there's a, there's a Jamie Dodger. There's a Jamie Dodger. <laughs> I'm just walking past it, just do, 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 do like you know. I could leave anything out, like near him, and he'd eat it. He would just pick it up and eat it, no <laughs> questions asked. Uh, who was the one last night when we were watching a film? We had some popcorn, and when it finished, we stood up, and there's a bit of like just like a popcorn <laughs> that just dropped on the sofa. She was like, oh, and then she looked at me, and I was like, mm, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's probably like, you know when you have like an old popcorn. And the pop, when you bite it, it's like really airy. And it's not airy, it's like it kind of <laughs> sticks to your teeth because it's... it's <coughs> oh, sorry. I know that popcorn did not taste good. Actually, it was delicious. <laughs> um, <coughs> I love sweet and salty popcorn because you don't know what you're going to have. You don't know if you're going to have a bite of sweet or have a bite of salty. Love. Mm. Love, love, love. Mm, that's like you, you're sweet or sour. <laughs> love, love, love. Salt sweet. <clears throat> so, what have we been watching lately? Well, I've been watching you for you. Since you don't like. Oh, yeah. Giuseppe's got right into it. Have you finished it then? No, I'm on season one. Oh. What? Oh, I thought there was only one season. I see. The thing is, I see why people... I see why people like... I see why people like it and it's a certain audience. Mm. You know, the camera. For your euphoria, I see why there's like a certain, why sorry, why certain people um like the show, and I see you know like why people watch it. But I, 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 sometimes I'm just like it's really really intense, and you know it does give some people PTSD. Well, and I... people a lot of people can relate to it as well because it's actually real life things and, and and stuff that happens, and and people that go through and experiences, which is it is it, quite unusual because usually these type of things they're not talked about they're not you know they're not shown people don't talk about it. so when it's on tv and we're watching it in the form of a show or series you're like whoa do you know what i'm trying to say yeah absolutely. absolutely no i think it is such a confronting show obviously there's all the hype about it and everyone's been talking about it for like the last couple, couple of months it's been all over social media it's so, so we were like oh we'll give it a go and watch it and i watched the first episode and i could barely watch it like it just gave me so much anxiety and then i just really struggled through the second episode and i just had to get up and leave i was like i can't watch this i just find it so stressful i understand that they're trying to like send these messages and make young people kind of understand but i also think it kind of glamorizes these like really serious okay, things it kind of makes that it like, like a norm like because it's yeah on TV. it's making it all of this like drugs and sex and which are normal things that <coughs> we all are exposed to but how it's put how it's like but it is really glamorized in my opinion and i just don't think that yeah anyway i don't like the show and think about the people think about the uh, let's say think about the kids or the children that watch it like come on there there's going to be 12 why? Well, yeah, 14, 15, it's like 16. yeah, that age, and they're just gonna think if, that it's all so cool. Like it's not cool, but it, they just see it as oh, it's a TV show. It, it's they, they, they've they've seen it, they've witnessed it, they know like what it's about and like what stuff happens, and it's just subconsciously in the back of their mind. So over time, it, it becomes this norm because it's you've seen it, you've, you've kind of experienced it from someone else's point of view. Mm. So it that does play in your head. That's like. You know, because I feel like the generation now, like, what do you call them, Gen, Gen Z? No, that's us, right? That's, that's me. That's you. So what are you? I'm, oh no, you're a millennial, I'm Gen Z. No, no. So the ones before the millennials, like, I think... No, which way does it go, actually? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I know just, like, people who were born, let's say people who were born after 2000, 2005, those are the people watching that, think that those type of shows <clears> and, like, <throat> well, they're being exposed to this stuff from so early. Yeah. Well, you were actually so only born in 1999. He thinks that because he was born in 1999 that he's so much older than everyone else. Listen, that, the, the, the difference between 1999 and, and 2000, is, there's a big difference. 
If I if you if I'm like, oh how old are you? Like, oh two thousand, but they're like twenty two the same age as me, I'm like, jeez. That is that true. Is so, when people, I feel so young. yeah, like when people, because like, I think I have a cousin actually who was born in two thousand. What? And I still, same age as me. Whoa. And I still okay. think that she's like ten, <coughs> but actually she must be twenty two. She's the same age as me, but probably like six months older. Okay. That's crazy, right? Super crazy. Go and get that. Put put some cream on your face. Go and get that cream. Your skin just looks so dry from here. And also, I want to show you guys what cream we use. It is literally the best face cream ever. My face is dry because it's still winter. Oh my yeah. gosh! And not everyone gets not everyone gets to wear makeup when you know you're not feeling nice or your, your skin's dry or you've I'm got spots like. Not I'm everyone can be a girl. I'm sorry, but you do not need makeup. He is just gorgeous. So Make unfair. I'm just saying, like, if I, if I don't want to, like, you know. Can't be asked to look good, like right now I look full good. Look cool! Excuse me. My face is all dry, I love it. <laughs> no, we've really been struggling with the, um, with the dry lips. It's very crusty. Very, very crusty. What else has been going on? Wait, what were we even talking about then? Oh yeah, euphoria. I get really, really bad anxiety. Actually, both of us do. <coughs> we um, we got this stuff, which is like valerian root. So they're like these little tablets, <coughs> and they're supposed to like calm your anxiety. And I feel like they really do, oh, but they make you so really well. tired. It makes you conk up. Uh, yeah, they make you really, really when tired. I wake up the next day, I was I'm just like, whoa, that was a proper proper deep sleep. Because you know when you wake up throughout the night. That's what happens to me usually. Mm. When I take that, I wake up and I'm like, what? Did I dream? Mm. Was I even asleep? I feel like I just close my eyes and open them. Yeah, it does. It knocks when you, you out. When you close your eyes, when it feels, when the next day when it feels like you've just closed your eyes and you've opened it, that's when you've had a deep sleep. Both of us get terrible anxiety. I just get terrible. I mean, I used to like be quite depressed but I never used to really get the like anxiety attacks and I really get the anxiety attacks now like if we're meeting up with people or say we have plans especially if we have plans oh, me, me, and yeah. they and someone cancels or like something that I'm really looking forward to excited about and then I feel let down my anxiety just goes into overload go and get the cream because I want to show them you get it stop telling me what to do to go get this go get that do oh, this do that you went and got the cream anyway go get the cream for what I wanted to show the people the cream that we use. It's so good. Go get the cream. Now that I've got the camera. <laughs> Fine, I'll go get it. <laughs> oh. So. But, but yeah, Giuseppe gets anxiety when we haven't planned ahead. You know, I get anxiety, but I get a lot of anxiety when um, I think I've got social anxiety. Like when I know I'm going to be with a group of people and you have to be social. Because what I think sometimes I'm like, oh, my, you know, what are we going to talk about? Will, will there be anything to talk about? Will we be in a comfortable space? How many people are going to be there? Uh, do I know everyone that's going to be there? You know, like, there's so many things that goes through my mind or your mind when you've got like, I think social anxiety. Or you're just anxious in general. Like, especially when you don't plan ahead. Let's say we're going to go to the cinema. Okay, let's, that's one very good example. Gigi will be like, it's, it's, I don't know, say it's 5 p.m. and you'll be like, oh, let's go to the cinema, let's go watch this film. It starts at 8 and I'm like, okay, what time is the film? What film are you watching? Oh Where gosh, are we, we watching the, the film? Seats. Are, are you sure there's going to be seats there? Like, you, there's so many things that I think of. It's just, it's so hard. It becomes like <laughs> a huge thing. Anyway, I'm going to do like well, a little, back. I'm going to do, oh, holy moly. I just went into the light then. Um, I'm going to do like a little, oh my gosh, who do I think I am? Who do I think I am though? I'm going to do a little haul. <laughs> anyway, this is the face cream that we use. Olay. Oh my gosh, how do we uh, let me help you, zoom um, it? See it better. It's called <laughs> Olay Regenerist Collagen Peptide Day Cream Fragrance Free. And... It's the best face cream I've ever used. It's guys, really, how... really rich and thick. Yeah, look how nice my skin is when you're doing it. 
it's really really um rich and thick and very very it's nice. so moisturizing <laughs> like it's so nice your skin feels so nice afterwards oh it's all out of focus now yeah, we'll focus in a second sure oh i am chill i'm very chill um and then this this is what i put on at night you must have been using this because it's nearly gone I told you, if it's just there and I see it, I just use it. I don't care. Oh my gosh, he I gets into care. my stuff. And then I'm like, that's really expensive. You're going to have to buy the next one. And he's like, yep, I will. Not. Yeah, but you girls have like the most mm. coolest things. Like it's got, I don't know, you got, you get anyway, this like is this, five, this seven, is what eight. I put on at night. Yeah. Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And it's really nice as well. Like my skin just feels so like, Moisturize and soft with the combination of those two creams um, And then this I got it was so expensive. It's like 50 pounds This was 50 pounds yeah. What is it? What does it do? It's Olaplex. What's it called? Number three repairs and strengthens because my hair obviously I bleach it so much to get it this blonde 50 pounds 50 and pounds. So my hair got cost like 20 pounds. So I, you put this on like when my hair is damp. This and is to wash your hair. You're supposed to wash it off, but I just leave it on until the next time I wash my hair. And it's made my hair so much softer. So for 50 pounds, does this make your hair grow faster? No, it makes it not It makes it not dry. Like it How stops do you know it, it makes from it drying dry? out. Because I can feel that my hair is softer. Like it's made a difference Only for because sure. you know it's 50 pounds. What if I gave this to you and said this is five pounds? And, that is and, true. And like yeah, this yeah, stuff is so it. psychological. No, but it's got excellent reviews and it's obviously proven to do it and it does what it says on the tin. Well, it makes so my hair so dry. When if you want to splurge or you have really like brittle, dry, damaged hair from dyeing it like I do, get this. It is worth it, okay? It is worth it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but it makes my hair dry, so I don't think it works that well. You do not use it. Yes, I do. I use, you don't use this. I don't use it. I use this. I use this every single time. You never even wash your I hair. I didn't even know this was shampoo. He washes That's why his hair like once never. A week. <laughs> it's disgusting. But the, you see this? I didn't even know this was shampoo. Like I saw it's it. It's not shampoo. It's a mask. It's a what hair mask, a mask that you put on your hair to try and strengthen it. Where's the mask? It. It's a hair mask. It's Would like a really mask? strong conditioner. Oh, con so it's a conditioner. Oh, a conditioner. So it like, yeah, I don't really That's not a mask. And that's 50 pounds. That's not worth it. Well, if you go, <laughs> to, a, use if you go to a hair salon and you get an Olaplex mask or a conditioning Olaplex treatment, it's literally 50 pounds to get one treatment, which means that they are making so much profit off using one, one bottle. bottle. So you may as well just splurge on the business. bottle and do your own masks do you know what i mean but yeah it's definitely worth it so I would hair and makeup here we come i'm gonna charge you 50 pounds i'm gonna use this bottle oh my gosh stop bottle. how do you say bottle bottle oh oh let's do that bottle. thing that i want to do bottle, bottle. okay so um <clears throat> this is my sixth year in london now and I think I still obviously have a New Zealand accent, but I don't think it is as strong as it was. Um, so I think I have a British twang. Well, I mean, like, you've obviously, like, the way I talk and the way, let's say, British people talk and mm. the slang we use, especially where I grew up and who I was around all the time, we have this, like, we have terminologies and we say things differently. It is still English. We still speak English, but it's different. What are you saying? Yeah, oh my gosh. So say when that, I say, moved over saying? here and guys were like, what are you saying? And I was like, what am I saying? What am I saying? But that is just how it, guys like pick up girls. Like, what are you saying? Like, how are you? I guess. Okay, let me correct that. <laughs> when you're saying, what are you saying? Just like, it's just like, oh, let me, this is a good example. What's up? But oh, I, yeah, but, but yeah. But you could yeah. be using different things. Like, if I go up to one of my boys, I'd be like, Oh, are we saying really good? And she's like, Oh, hi, how are you? Mm. But if it goes to a girl, you're a bit more sus. Like, oh, we saying, maybe, right? Mm. We saying, Where are you from? Mm, that's <laughs> true. That what they're like, they're like, We saying, maybe, where are you from? And you're like, I'm not saying anything. I no, was just I'm... like, What is going on? Yeah. I didn't know anything. Like, I didn't know, like, when guys call girls ping or ling or whatever. Ping. I didn't know what that <laughs> means. But anyway, do you guys think that I sound super 
Kiwi, or mm. do I sound a little bit British? Because I think I do. You've got the um, that twang, that oh, like see? New Zealand Australian twang. You've got that. They have they have this specific voice, especially the females. It's nice though. See, when I go to New Zealand, you when I take when Giuseppe and I go to New Zealand at some point, hopefully, he will realise that actually my accent isn't that strong. <gasps> I called my grand last night out of the blue and she Call has the pond. strongest New Zealand accent ever Hot, and I do not sound like that. I called, I, I was on the phone and I, she was like, hi Giuseppe, I was like, hello, because apparently I'm probably British. Um, British. Anyway, oh my gosh, it made me so happy. I had a really bad mental health day yesterday and was feeling really shit. Um, and then my grand just been on my mind all week for some reason. And I never call her, like I message her sometimes, but I gave her a ring and I was on the phone to her for an hour. And after that, I was just buzzing. Like, I was just so happy. Love. Love, 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 love. <laughs> I don't know why I say that, but I say it so much, don't I? Oh, yeah, that cream on my face is real good. So, what are we going to do today? Hmm? What are we going to do today? You would play basketball with me. <laughs> I'm, I actually played basketball in school and I would you, probably you mean, beat you. You mean netball? What? No, I never played netball. <laughs> I played <laughs> basketball. I'm yeah, so uncoordinated, so I didn't do the dribbling. I didn't run up and down the court. I just um, did the three pointers. What's a three pointer? Standing on the line. Oh. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. I'm actually pretty good. Well, I actually haven't played in years, One, but. Two. I am terrible. I'm so uncoordinated. I couldn't really dribble, but I was good at um, shooting it's shots. It's cute how you're uncoordinated because I know you try hard and you just you just can never do it. Oh uh, well, Go you like can't this. be good at everything. Got like can't what is it? <laughs> oh, you try it. Go. Wait, what? Rub your belly and tap your f rub. Oh no, tap your head and rub your belly. I'm doing it, I'm doing it well. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it well. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it well. Take it. Oh, that reminds me when you showed in the background. My <coughs> brother's girlfriend got me this book, Manifest, Seven Steps to Living Your Best Life. And, and it's basically this lady, Roxy Nafusi, and um, <clears throat> she basically breaks down in seven steps of how to manifest the life that you've always dreamed of or manifest the life that you want. Like, it's all in the power of your mind and um, I'm really really enjoying it it's amazing because I feel like we can get so sucked into our own heads okay oh I don't even know how to zoom in because that would have been so funny what are you, what was you, um... what are you smiling at? oh no she was just messaging me funny who? <laughs> no, someone just sent me a picture. Let me show you. This was five years ago in my IT class. This was me and oh my, um, my teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine, imagine Giuseppe permed his hair and used to slick it down and then have a curly bun. I mean, that's, that's me and my IT teacher. Do you know how that funny was... that is? No, try to do it closer. That was closer. Oh. Please focus for a bit. Oh, there we go. Stop. I need to leave it out. There you go. <laughs> that is so funny. That was five years ago. Oh, did D send you that? No, Harrison. Oh. Shout out to Harrison! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so impressed about how I did my makeup. It looks so nice. You look beautiful, baby. Aww. How many times I have to tell you a day? And then one time I don't say anything because you're like, Oh, you never compliment you. I'm like, out of a hundred times in a day, one time I'm like, no, you're like, no, like, you know what, I don't even want to compliment you no more. You don't even accept, you don't even like them. That's hilarious. Anyway, what I think we'll do today is we might potter into the city. We love going into Soho. Potter. And should we hit up a pudo? Guys, ramen is our go-to. Oh my it's gosh, this place is amazing. We're like on a, right now, we're like on a mission of... Like, well, we're not really in a mission, but we're just trying out like different types of ramen. I see my lips are already dry. No. We're, we're just trying like different types of um, like ramen restaurants, and we've tried Bone Daddy's, Ipudo. What was the other one that we tried? We didn't like it that much. 
Oh no, I did not like that one. Huh? I did not like that one. You didn't like it? No. no <laughs> it was weird. Was but no, 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 no. We like, um, we got, I think we're gonna go get ramen. Ramen for the win. Ramen I love mushrooms in my ramen. <laughs> okay. I love mushrooms in my ramen. She's so beautiful. But yeah. Let's spin it from here because we I got the light up. The girl's always got a um <clears throat> so we're gonna get into something warmer. Well are you gonna shower? Oh, I'm gonna shower so no. Yeah, I'm gonna use all of your creams, <clears throat> everything, you know, use this to condition my hair. I'm sorry, but what are you doing? Sorry? What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> Okay. Um, anyway, we've we've now melted into the bed. <laughs> um, but we're gonna get ourselves sorted. I'm gonna put on something warmer, and Giuseppe's gonna sh bathe, <laughs> Come look at this which water. will be nice. Oh my Come gosh. Look at this um, <clears throat> and yeah, we'll go and get some noodles and potter around Soho. And yeah, we'll see you there. Peace. Bye. <laughs> 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 what is wrong with us? But actually, if people actually, you know, people. Yes. People must think that we're so dopey. Like, if I was, let's say, we were going out and I met us as another couple, I'd be like, whoa, they are so stupid, <laughs> so dopey. We're not stupid, we're just weird. Okay, she was, we we're just so weird, so dopey, like, so random. You know what I mean? Oh my god, have I had that on the whole time? So funny. Um, I've also what? noticed that I just watched a little bit of the video just now of what we've recorded. I've got foundation all through my hair and my makeup doesn't match my neck. But anyway, I can't be perfect, okay? I can't do it perfect. Love me anyway. Don't come for me. Anyway, we'll see you when we're eating noodles. I think I look quite good with our um, hair. Oh my gosh, no. Alright, say bye. Bee! Me all looking for. This is the place, you guys. Best ramen ever. Are you joking? Remember, one of them was closed. It's this one. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, we came, we found the other one. It was only like a 10 minute walk away. And we've made it, okay. This is really good ramen, like the best ramen with bone daddies. But this is kind of like, what would you say? I would say this uh, particular ramen from Ipudo is an eight slash nine out of 10. Yeah, it's really good. So we get this spicy veggie ramen. If you can see, and it's noodle, seaweed, mushroom, broth, miso paste, whoops, spring onions, small mushrooms, garlic oil, chili. Yum, 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 yum. yum, yum. Oh, you're gonna get the um, the spice That's already in it. I think it was spicy enough to be honest. Yeah, it was spicy. So yeah. I'll show you the noodles and they come. Okay, so I got, how cute! I got lemon soda, so it's like lemon sugar, mint. I think it's basically like a virgin mojito. Hey! Oh my god, I wish I got Is it so good? I wish I got that one. It's, a virgin, oh it's basically a virgin mojito. That's a virgin mojito. That's Chef's kiss. All right, try your lychee juice. I'm really tired. Is it nice? Yeah. So we got lychee juice. It's not as nice as this. Well. I will. All you need to make the version of the lychee. I knew. You know what? I would. I knew. I knew he'd want it, and he said no. And now he wishes he got it. Anyway, virgin meat is very easy to make because um, all you need is a soda water, some mint, sugar, ice, and lemon. Fish, bash. That we should start making mojitos. Should we make a mojito later? 
Thank you. Oh. It's so good. And we got extra spring onions, extra tofu, extra mushroom, extra chili oil. And they even gave us chili powder because they said they we like it really spicy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> it's honestly so good. Go do your first bite. Yeah, no. to so in here you've got your chili paste, you just mix it in, it's so good. And obviously you've got your your tofu, these are your mushrooms, your spring beans, spring onions, whatever they're called, your noodles, and then the broth is so good, you've got extra mushrooms and extra tofu, dip that shit in. Mm-hmm, love that. Oh my god. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Love that. Get some of the chili, sprinkle that in. Get this and drink. <laughs> Good. So good. I'm actually so excited for this. This ramen is really worth it. I would say it's about twenty pounds per person, right? This is reasonable. It's worth it. Mom, it's so good. So 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 so. Have you had a bath my mouthful yet? Oh, here he goes. Anyway guys, anyway guys, I just finished mine. <laughs> Look at her, still on the go. Ours is so spicy. We put both of our sauces, put a lot of this chili sauce in, chili um, powder, whatever it is. But it's so good. Are you struggling? I'm slowing down now. Oh no, this is this really filled us up. I have to admit. This ramen place is in the top five out of the top out of the three ramen places I've been to. <laughs> you guys should check it out. It's no, we've tried loads. Yeah, you guys should really check it out. It's called the Pew. So yeah. So, yeah. We've tried loads of ramen spot actually. Tonkatsu, not very nice. Bone Daddy's really, really good. This is really good. What was the name of that one we that we went to in Pakistan? That wasn't really nice. Okay guys, we're going to get some sorbet. We went for coconut, mango, lemon. Oh, just to let you know, Yummy. Um, coconut is not sorbet, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sorry. And yummy, 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 yummy. Look at the macaroons, you guys. Oh. What are macaroons? I've never even had one. They're just like little like cake things with stuff in the middle. But I don't. Do you want any yogurt? Yes. Oh, look at the middle. That's so cute. What? And they're making like an ice cream. Like a like a flower. Like <gasps> wow! Thank you. <gasps> Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Huh? Eat it. No, I want to take photos. Eat some. I want to take photos. Oh, okay. Take a photo. Eat it. Okay. What do you think? Mm, nice. <laughs> Are you sure? Huh? Okay, you guys. It was so good. Okay, it's so nice. Customer information from the last respect. What are we doing now? We're gonna go see that new movie called Uncharted. Uncharted. <laughs> Screen six. <laughs> Oh my 
my gosh, you guys! That movie was so good, <laughs> wasn't it? It was good, it was good. It was actually so good! Go and see Uncharted with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. It was just like really good action scenes. Oh my god, the music! This is such an unexpectedly great date day. It's really Isn't it? I'm embarrassed. Let me do I'll do what Luca does. <laughs> um, it was so good. It was so, so, so good. Oh, I really want to get fit now so I can climb up ropes. Yeah, and you want to go gym now? Do backflips. We're going to go to the gym now. Work out. We're going to head home. A little gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. A little gin and gin. gin. Anyway, it was really good. Go see that movie. What's up guys? I'm back in my Gymshark t-shirt. You know the attire, yeah? <laughs> Someone please tell me why guys always wear the same t-shirt for like a million days until I have to be like, okay, put it in okay, the Okay, one more fact, one more fact. The thing with guys is, is that we have our t-shirts. We have like three t-shirts we wear in a week. Don't lie to me. We have three t-shirts and those are usually the three t-shirts at the top of the power that you just keep picking and swapping over. And then the only way for you to change a t-shirt is when your partner or your mother, shout out to the boys still at home, <laughs> changes it and just flips it over so you wear a new t-shirt every week. They just take whatever they see first. Yeah, basically. Anyway. Anyway, we have so, actually had such an unexpectedly like great Sunday date day. We had gelato and went to our favorite ramen and watched like the best movie ever. And now <laughs> we're just having a little drinky. Yeah guys, comment down below if you've seen, what was the film called? Uncharted. Yeah. Yeah, so. And we just fed our little piggly wigglies. And they're so happy right now eating their little cucumbers. And anyway, it's been a really great day. Um, thank you guys for watching our YouTube video. So make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And, and don't forget to follow our Instagram as well. Yeah, and guys. Follow yeah. all of our Instagram pages, all of our Instagram pages. Everything, all of our socials will be linked in the, um, in the bio. Oh yeah, now bio. And yeah, thank you guys. And we're definitely going to try and be more consistent with our videos and do more like fun little things like this. We're also going to hop on live a lot more to chat to you guys. We did it that this was, morning for like really an hour. Fun. And maybe some of you guys watching were on it. And it was so much fun just like hanging out. And yeah. so yeah, thank you guys for watching. We thank love you. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate <laughs> you guys. All right. All right. <laughs>